Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says the purple squares are all the same size. I've arranged three of them symmetrically inside each of the two black squares. And it wants to know what is this missing length beside of the larger square. This is day 25 of our advent calendar. For the month of December, we're going to solve 31 Katrina ag puzzles in 31 days. And if you guys want to try this one, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. Let's label the side length of one of these purple squares X. And that means this is X, this is X, and this is X. And we still have a gap right here. We can fill that in later if we need to. So we can label this X and this X, but we're gonna have a gap right here. That's gonna be the same thing as the diagonal of the purple square. So let's zoom in on this. If we look at these notes, the diagonal of any square is equal to square root of two times the side length. So this diagonal is gonna be equal to X root two. So that means that this distance right here, this right here would be X root two. And next, let's zoom in on this right here. Let's fill in this gap, let's call it Y, and that'll be the same as this distance right here. That'll be Y. I hope that makes sense, Y. And it's mentioned that it's symmetric here, so we know this is symmetric, this is also gonna be symmetric. So we'll have a square in here with the height of Y. Half of the Y will be up here and half will be down here. This part dangling down here, that's gonna be half of Y, Y over two. And that's the same thing up here. This little piece dangling down is Y over two. So to get this piece is a little tricky. We're gonna take the entire diagonal, x root two, but we need to subtract this little piece dangling down. And that's gonna be half of the y. So we're gonna subtract y over two. This part's kind of tricky to explain. I hope it makes sense. And now we've got enough to set up some equations. For the first equation, this is a square, which means this length is the same thing as this length. So we can write x plus x root two plus x is equal to question mark. And this is what we're trying to solve for. And for another equation, this base will match the top. So we can say x plus y plus x equals 12. And then for the last equation, this side equals the top. So we can write x root 2 minus y over 2 plus x equals 12. These two should be everything we need to solve for this one. Let's hide this for now and move this up. Let's rearrange these and x plus x is 2x. Both these terms contain an x, so let's factor out that x. On the inside, we'll be left with 2 plus root 2. And this is the equation we're trying to solve for. Let's put a box around it. Next, we can bring this up here. We can rearrange the order of this one, and x plus x is 2x. Let's get this y all by itself, so let's subtract 2x from both sides. 2x minus 2x will go away, and that'll leave us with y is equal to 12 minus 2x. Next, we can bring this equation up, and we can plug in 12 minus 2x in the place of this y. Let's give ourselves some room, and let's plug in 12 minus 2x. This negative will distribute to both of these terms, so this positive 12 minus 2x will become negative 12 plus 2x. And we can write them as separate fractions. 12 divided by 2 is 6, 2x divided by 2 is x, and x plus x is 2x. Let's smush everything together, and let's add 6 to both sides. Negative 6 and positive 6 will cancel each other out, and 12 plus 6 is 18. Now the two terms on the left have an x, so let's factor out that x. And on the inside, we're left with root 2 plus 2. And that is the answer to our question. We're left with 18 is equal to question mark. And I'm thinking we're not going to give it a label. This is only 12. There's no label. So I think this question mark would only be 18. I'm kind of curious, what do you guys think? Do we need to put a label on this? I'm thinking the answer is no but we definitely will put a box around it. 18 was the length of this right here. How exciting. Here's the next problem. It says a semicircle sits in a right angled triangle. What's the shaded area? And they're giving us that the diameter of the semicircle is eight. This one will be a fun one. How exciting.